Hi guys, today I have a haul video for you that I thought I was going to get to last week and then I ended up getting sick and actually have been losing my voice on and off. So I apologize if I get a little hoarse, but I'm still recuperating. But I wanted to get this haul kind of recorded and out of the way because today um, this came in the mail. And while it's not, I mean, jam-packed full of nail polish, there's quite a bit in there. So there's enough that I think it needs its own video. So I need to get the stuff that I thought I would already have done um, kind of out of the way. And I have several of my followers to thank for letting me know that icing now has magnetic polishes. And uh, that's where I'm going to start off. The icing magnetic colors are uh, silver, pink, and blue, and gold. And I was able to find three of them at my local store. None of them have names on the label. So I'm just going to call them by their colors. This is kind of a gunmetal silvery gray. And you can see the sticker on the top here um, shows what kind of magnet it is. And on the top of the cap, which is detachable, um, you can see there are two guides so that, you know, to help you um, place it on your nail either this way or turn it 90 degrees and that way. Um, of the four colors, there are two different magnets. Two of them come with kind of the straight line design magnet and two of them come with more of the wavy design magnet. Um, the silver comes with the straight line and let's see this one is kind of a metallic pink and this comes with the wavy line magnet and the blue also has the wavy line magnet and that's also kind of a very metallic color and I'm going to be doing swatches of those um, in a separate video, so stay tuned for that. Um, if you've shopped at Icing before, you probably know that they have buy one, get one 50% off. So for my fourth polish, since they didn't have the last magnetic, I picked up this purple glitter crackle. And I even asked the sales clerk if they had any more in the back, and she said they didn't, but she thought they'd be getting some more in soon. So I kind of planned on stopping back later and getting the gold and maybe another one of these glitter crackles. But while I was at the mall, I thought, you know, if icing has new colors, I should check out Claire's because they're owned by the same company. And until recently, they've had very similar nail polish. And now it appears that they have identical nail polish because when I went to Claire's, I found the gold uh, magnetic polish which also comes with the straight line magnet now um, when you compare the two I mean they're basically the same except you know they have a different name on them the icing ones are actually slightly cheaper the icing were nine dollars each and the Claire's were 975 each so if you can find them at icing, I would recommend to purchase them there just for that uh, difference. Um, at Claire's, I also picked up this uh, kind of fuchsia glitter crackle and this teal glitter crackle. And I kind of wasn't sure what I was going to pick for my fourth one because like icing, Claire's has uh, buy one get one 50% off and then I spotted this which is called night sky and a lot of you might recognize this I bought it kind of just to see if it was similar or an actual dupe and it turns out it pretty much is an exact dupe for icing's epic winning now if you're gonna go just by name I think epic winning has to uh, win the battle there but you know other than that 
I haven't swatched them yet. I'll probably include that with the magnetic swatches. But, you know, I'm assuming the formulas are going to be similar, if not identical. I'm thinking with Claire's and icing, I saw some other colors that were duplicates. And it seems like instead of having similar colors, they've now gone to having the exact same colors. <clears throat> Um, while I was at the mall, I also saw this at a nail salon and I just couldn't resist. It was too glittery and awesome. This is OPI DS Temptation and it's one of the newer designer series colors. Um, they're not quite as cool as maybe some of the older colors like, uh, Glamour or DS Original, but it's still, it just has a lot of depth. It's really pretty. And I couldn't pass that one up. So those were all from my trip to, um, <clears throat> I'm really sorry for my voice, you guys, uh, Rosedale Mall. Those of my fellow Minnesotans know that that's pretty much one of the most popular malls. Um, and then I'd also had a few people tell me that Justice had a magnetic polish. And unfortunately, this was like the day after I went to Rosedale. So I headed to... Ridgedale and I wasn't able to find any of the Justice Magnetic Polish but I stopped in Hot Topic and I picked up um, a matte top coat from War Paint Beauty. I'm running a little bit low on my um, matte magic from China Glaze and this seems to work really well and it's not an expensive brand and when I went in there it was buy one get one free so for my free polish, I got this sparkly blue, which is also a glow in the dark. So I don't know if that sale is still going on, but if you have a hot topic near you, uh, definitely stop in there. They have a lot of cool um, makeup and cosmetics and t-shirts and other kind of random stuff. <laughs> And while I was there, I also just kind of popped in Sephora just to see what I could see. And I was tempted into buying, this is called Blasted Opalescent Gold. And I recently got for Christmas uh, the Blasted Opalescent, which is like an opalescent pink. So I wanted to try the opalescent gold also. And while I was poking around in there, I just happened to see... Um, that they had a small, tiny display of the Nails Ink Magnetics. And this is Whitehall. This is what's on my nails with a coat of the uh, War Paint Matte Top Coat. So if you've had a Sephora near you that didn't have the magnetic polish previously, I'd say maybe try again and see if they have it now. They didn't have any of the other Nails Ink colors, but I'm guessing that as popular as the Magnetic Polish was, they decided to kind of push it out to more stores. So after I left the mall, I headed to Ulta, and I always keep an Ulta coupon, you know, in my purse or in my car because they're always available on the website and I never know when I may decide to pop in there. And they always have different stuff in clearance and honestly the clearance that stores have is one of the reasons that I really like going out to shop for nail polish rather than just you know call a store and see if they have the particular color I'm looking for because you never know what you're gonna find in the clearance you know aside from if you call a store looking for a color you have to number one find a sales rep that knows what you're talking about Number two, find a sales rep that's not lazy. You know, they, they could just put you on hold and, you know, then pick up the phone and say, oh, no, we don't have that. And, you know, I just, I basically don't trust the sales rep to know what they're talking about because so often, even in store, they seem clueless. But um, I don't remember the exact order that I pick these up in. This bright orange is Zoya Paz. And then this shimmery pink is Barriel Pink Sherbert. And those were both from the same store. 
Then I hit a different Ulta and I got this bright pink, which is Zoya Alley. And then I came across these three colors, which kind of stumped me. And this is just showing how far behind I am with reading other blogs and keeping up with nail polish news because I could tell they were new. I could tell they were from this past holiday, but I had never seen or heard of these before. Um, this metallic pink is China Glaze Mistletoe Me. And this holographic gold is Ultimate Holiday. And then the third one, this holographic copper is called Fireside Glow. And I saw these in a display. They were just kind of thrown in with some of the Metro collection. And I was hunting around, kind of making sure there weren't any other surprise colors. Um, they didn't have clearance stickers on them, but when I got up to the register, they were only two bucks each, which made it even more awesome. And when I got home to Google, I found out that they were the three colors from China Glaze's Ulta Holiday Exclusive, which, like I said, I had no clue about. So, you know, if you ever hear some nail polish news and think, well, Colette must already know that because she's on top of it. I'm right now. I'm not. I'm so far behind on my blog, on reading other people's blogs, on being at all up to date with nail polish news. The last several cool things I found, it's been thanks to people going, "Hey, have you heard about this?" or you know, posting a press release on my Facebook page. So I really do appreciate it when you guys share that kind of stuff with me. And. I also stopped at just Walgreens. They had a Wet n Wild Mega Last display. Um, this dark purple is called Disturbia. And last but certainly not least, um, my free Zoyas finally showed up and came in this cute little box. It's a little bit smaller than their normal six bottle box. And I picked up a couple colors from their holiday collection. This green is Holly. And this metallic pink is Izzy. And Izzy is actually kind of a very close, close match to the uh, China Glaze Mistletoe Me. They're slightly different. I wouldn't call them dupes, but they're definitely close cousins. So that's kind of my scattered piecemeal haul from a bunch of different stores. Um, like I mentioned, I will have swatches for all four of the magnetic polishes. Um, there will be a polish in motion for uh, Whitehall. And I will include some of the um, glitter crackles in the swatches also. And then <clears throat> the order that I got from Nailogy will have its very own separate video. Because <clears throat> when I'm kind of referring people back to older videos, sometimes even I have trouble remembering what I talked about and what I showed in which video. So to be able to kind of separate them helps me out and helps my haul videos, which are already long, helps keep them from being like an hour long because I'm sure you guys realize by now I could talk nail polish all day when my voice is cooperating. <clears throat> so since it's kind of stopping cooperating, I'm going to end this video here and let it recuperate for a while before I do the swatches. Uh, thanks for listening to me croak and thanks for watching.